Wolves are a haunting and enduring symbol of the wild, and while many people are happy to dream of seeing one someday, breeders have created wolf-dog hybrids. But the animals have more complicated needs than a domestic dog and ultimately are surrendered or euthanized. As Bill McFarland tells us, a group in Cochrane hopes to save as many as they can. If you're lucky enough to see a wolf in the wild, this is likely what it will look like, a fleeting shape loping through the trees. When they know humans are in the area, they're, they're going to make sure you don't see them. Larky, do you want to come get a treat? But here, these wolves are not as they seem. They're hybrids, a cross between wolf and dog. Some more wolf, some with more dog. They live here at Yamnuska Wolf Dog Sanctuary. The more wolf content that's in the wolf dog, the less pet-like they're ever going to behave. The sanctuary was created five years ago to house these animals, given up by their owners as their beauty wore off and the reality of the animals' needs sank in. Bred to be an exotic token of the wild, they are aloof, territorial, and hard to train. With domestic dogs, they're animals that want to please us humans, they want to be around us humans, all that kind of stuff. And the more wolf content that is in the wolf dog, the less they're going to be wanting to please you, the less that they're ever going to be a pet. Some of the canids are relaxed enough to welcome supervised visitors. 22 wolf dogs live here in fenced enclosures of up to two acres. But for a nonprofit with a mortgage and a dream of being able to house more unwanted animals, it's expensive. That is the type of enclosure that they need to be happy, healthy and secure. You can't just build a six foot fenced in little kennel and expect an animal like Nikita or Lark to, to stay put. The sanctuary has launched an online auction that runs the next two weeks on its Facebook page, aimed at raising enough money for a new enclosure. It's a labor of love, and Georgina understands why others are attracted to them. Fantasy of being able to own a pet wolf or just wanting to own something different, something unique. But very few can give wolf dogs the care they need. Here, at least, they have a happy home. Bill McFarland, CTV News, near Cochrane. Wow, Yamnuska Wolf Dog Sanctuary is auctioning off all sorts of great packages on its Facebook page between now and February 13th. You can find a link on our website, calgary.ctvnews.ca.